I was not going to be one of those people who see these kind of dehumanizing conditions and they believe that nothing can be done. When friends think about uh, Burundi and Rwanda, the tendency is always, boy, what an absolute hell on earth. Who goes there, run away. But uh, none of these uh, tragedies are natural disasters. They are man-made tragedies. That can be reversed. Burundi is a very small country. It's the size of Rwanda, the size of Maryland in the United States. It has a population of 11 million people. It is the poorest of all, the hungriest of all, and yet it has incredible opportunities to make a difference. Being pregnant in Burundi is almost a death sentence. Village Health Works was created to change these conditions into the ones that favor life. I was working at Panson Health and we went to Rwanda. From there I went to Burundi uh, to see my, my mother who was uh, very sick uh, in uh, one of the hospitals in, in, uh, in Burundi. What I saw broke my heart. There were just patients who were sitting there watching themselves die in a place of healing. I was not going to be one of those people who see this kind of dehumanizing conditions and they believe that nothing can be done. I put the tent over there in rural Burundi in my village and started learning skills I never learned before doing construction with the community members, bringing people, former enemies together to work on a common good, to build a clinic which they themselves own. We can build a healthcare system model, build a center of excellence in teaching and training younger generation who can lead us into hopeful futures instead of leading us into graves or situations that have dehumanized us. It is really possible or it takes, it takes collaboration, it takes community involvement, it takes compassion, seeing the other the way we see ourselves. You really create the conditions. You give them space, you get them involved. And you know you will create conditions that will fit for life. You will give them opportunities to get themselves out of these conditions. And you give them education that will allow them to think about what is wrong, what is right for me, for the others, for the neighbor. And they will be empowered by this knowledge to fix problems that are around their communities and within their communities. And they are not going to be used by anyone who's taking advantage of these conditions. The songs are amazing. For example, let me see what he's saying. This is your school and your children's school, our future. And that's our hope. <laughs> this vision was really, let's start right here in this community we know. But I knew that beyond that place, people were suffering the same way. We could actually create something beautiful, a model that can be replicated everywhere in Africa. And we are hoping that we will have more friends who will join our cause because it's not just our cause, it's really humanity's cause.